Welcome to LG Halsis Europe Adhesion Training. Within the scope of this video, we shall demonstrate complete professional vehicle adhesion using LG Halsis High Performance Film. Before Michael Lay from the SEW Academy shows you the gluing technique, a number of things need to be carried out in preparation for printing. Special vehicle archives are of great assistance to ensure the printing data for each vehicle is optimally prepared. Always produce the illustrative plates with the requisite amount. In that way, you can ensure you do not run out of film whilst gluing. Printing is carried out using latex inks on a set LD823T high-performance film with air-free technology. As a result, the drying time of 24 hours needed for solvent printing is not applicable. Before they are laminated, film printed with solvent inks should be dried, either rolled out on a drying table or in special drying chambers, which guarantee air circulation. The film should never be dried rolled up or standing perpendicular on the ground, otherwise there is a danger that the solvents on the inside of the roll of film accumulate and alter the adhesion characteristics. Use a drinks crate if necessary. In order to protect against mechanical stresses and strains and UV radiation, the film is then laminated. The protective laminate, LP80994, is used. In doing so, ensure that cold lamination is carried out. If heat is used, the laminate may expand which, after cooling, can lead to a shrinking process in the overall construction. It is imperative that the laminate and the film are of the same grade. The vehicle we have chosen is a Mercedes Vito because it provides some true challenges, even for those skilled in adhesion. As a precaution with new vehicles, ensure that the finish has had at least six weeks to harden completely. The vehicle should be cleaned in a car wash and parked in a heated hall for at least 24 hours the day before gluing to ensure there is no residual moisture in the paint subsurface. The optimum room temperature during adhesion is between 20 and 22 degrees Celsius. As a matter of principle, all subsurfaces should be considered polluted prior to gluing. The subsequent use of surface cleaners is recommended for the removal of polish or preservation wax residue. Stubborn impurities need to be removed by hand. Particular care must be taken on indentations and ridges. The following tools are used during gluing. Squeegee with felt ridge. Cutter. Heat gun. Infrared lamp, laser thermometer, surface cleaner, assembly magnets, lint-free cleaning cloths, gluing gloves, and basic tools for dismantling vehicle parts. Before we can begin with the actual gluing, certain setting up tasks need to be carried out on the vehicle. Let's watch Michael Lay at work. Dismantling mounted parts is different from vehicle to vehicle. Type plates are detached carefully with the help of nautical yarn, dental floss or similar products. Adhesive residue is removed using adhesive remover and a final clean with surface cleaner is then essential. When gluing film with air-free technology, we can do without the use of separating agents. Because of its micro-channels, this film can be glued bubble and fold free if applied correctly. To ensure ease of application, large areas can be glued by two people. 
Now the film is fixed to the vehicle to test whether the separation of the motive sections works. For this, we use assembly magnets. The fitting of the side sections of the motif should be overlapping from rear to front in order that the upper edge of the front film is not subjected to headwind. Fitting marks which can be made from adhesive strips are also helpful. Once the film bearer has been removed, the rear section of film is aligned to the fitting marks. Adhesion now commences from the centre and the work is carried out successively towards the outside. The LD823T's adhesive can be repositioned and permits relaying of the film during adhesion without difficulty in the initial adhesion process. The squeegee should always be utilised at a 45 degree angle to the film using expansive, even strokes. The pressure of the squeegee must be at least 4 kilograms in order to activate the adhesive. Test the pressure required using a set of scales. If there are still air bubbles present following adhesion, then they are removed with the help of an air release tool by pricking the side of the air bubble. The LD823T is a set high performance film which was developed especially for the challenges presented by vehicle adhesion processes, most significantly in the gluing of seams over rivets or over significantly arched three-dimensional surfaces. It is extremely robust and hard-wearing in its application as well as its processing. Naturally, optimum conditioning is required the correct temperature of between 50 and 60 degrees Celsius must be maintained when processing in particular. To illustrate, see what happens here when the film is taken beyond its maximum elasticity at a temperature which is too low. The result can be stress whitening and a tearing of the film. When gluing particular areas, the following steps must be adhered to. First of all, glue the film entirely over the seam. Warm and blow the film where the seam occurs at the highest point. The optimum range of temperature for laying the film in the seam is between 50 and 60 degrees Celsius. You can tell this is the case by a puckering and then smoothing of the film. Do not smooth down the film too tight at the seam. This way, the film maintains enough potential to stretch without it coming to stress whitening or tearing of the film. Critical gluing areas at seams can be glued with the help of packing tape. The tape is placed under the film from the side. 
Then the film can be warmed up in the seam and the air, which was also heated, then escapes from the side under the film to the open air. To conclude gluing of the seam, the film needs to be tempered once again at a minimum temperature of 85 to 90 degrees Celsius. At this temperature, the film's restoring forces are fully eliminated. Precise monitoring of the temperature with an infrared thermometer is essential. The reading point is directly behind the flow of air from the heat gun. Cutting is carried out using a professional knife only. Always cut in a way that leaves an excess length of film, which can be reversed or spread. Please ensure you carry out no adhesion on rubber lips or any low energy surface, synthetics in particular. The film's adhesive force is not sufficient for that and leads to the film flaking off the surface in a short period of time. If film needs to be cut on paintwork, fine line tape is laid underneath it beforehand to prevent the knife damaging the paintwork when it pierces the film. Once adhesion is complete, a holding time of 24 hours at a constant room temperature is recommended. Customers should always be informed that the final adhesion ready for use is only achieved after 24 or 48 hours due to the adhesive's cold flow characteristics. The LD823T has a service life of 8 years in an unprinted and 5 years in a printed state if the print is with solvent inks. The service life ranges over all vertical surfaces plus or minus a 10 degree angle of inclination. You can achieve a more lengthy service life with horizontal exposure of the film on roofs or bonnet surfaces by means of polishing two to three times using conventional car polish. The first application, however, should be made at least three weeks after adhesion at the earliest. Cleaning and a car wash after gluing has been carried out should only occur after three days. The best way to remove the film from the vehicle is by means of heat. Here Michael Lay shows us the surface temperature of the film is heated by approximately 60 degrees Celsius by means of an infrared lamp. It can then be removed large sections at a time. The best recommended method is to pull the film from the surface at an angle of approximately 45 degrees.